Working on the spotlight. Show up. For 200 years later, just a little bit different. With Rager. So Johnson and Dexter, please. We're going to get three different cars. He's going to start off in Primo. One. Secunda. Two. Hurts up. Three. What's the next one? Four up, four, well done. He's <laughs> not a trick question. Four, right? And these cars protect him. Whatever his card is, he said something new. I can't get into that. Right? And all you have to do is get leverage over my blade. The problem is, is, if you're not careful, you will both stab each other and die. And it happened a lot. It happened so often that a guy called George Silver wrote in the book, these things are dumb. You can't use them on the battlefield. They're only good for killing our countrymen, and you kill each other with them. But they remain popular nonetheless. I get in guard. I feel pretty sick. And Justin gain the leverage to me. Oh no. I can't let him do that, so I've got to do things to get around this. So as he comes in, you see the back. John comes in, he's going to gain the leverage again. Oh, I didn't use a Oh, I just noticed I ran. Try it again. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. But what's the so the I voided my body. As John came in, I let him come in. I lifted him up. I should know. I thought it was in Georgia. Thank you, Mr. King. The most Italian man. Really good stuff. Nice and fashionable. Popular. Eventually, though, they got too long. They caused problems. They were so long, people had a hard time getting things. <laughs> they had other problems. <laughs> the king of France was so fed up with rapiers, he demanded that the blades be cut down a leg to get something different from pork stores. They don't have today. It's in the trunk. In a Catholic country, routinely gets dominated by its aggressive neighbors and drinks heavily. Ireland. Scotland. Scotland. Whiskey. Shkabaha. Water of life. Polish saber. It has a curse for using military weapon. They didn't like Rangers so much. They like this. I can use it on foot and horseback. It is good in war. It's nice and durable. It can be used in a pool. This sword has a thumb ring. It's giving leverage. You do what's called a mullet It's an old technique to get power when you cut. It eventually went away because it does take time to move this, but it gives you a lot of power. Looks big on it. I know and the Polish, the way they use it, for example, first, they could do different things with it. When gentlemen He's duel with one another, the hand can give a common target. We'll bring that lesson up again in just a moment. And if we don't like each other, we don't like each other, we draw our sabers. Kind of female. And, person. <laughs> and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to cut it, John, and he's going to ramp it. From here, he can do bad stuff to me, right? So I have to be very, very careful. And that sword has a curve. John's going to throw a cut at my side, and I'm not going to block it. What's he going to do next? Oh! He is. He's corner. He gets worse than that. I'm going to cut John's hand in an unusual way. Below. The blade is sharp on both sides. You go low, malinade, cut in. The holes are famous for something called the hellish fourth, which is I bring John's sword high and then cut low into the there are into the stomach area. <laughs> the saber was so popular that in the Napoleonic eras they still used them. The guards were better. Right? But the curve remained. The British 1796 pattern saber looks really Polish. It is a sword similar to this without the gun ring, with more hand protection, nice steep. The French. They didn't like cutting blades, they preferred pressing swords. Bring that another desk. <laughs> There's only so much I can carry. Who needs a single stick? A single stick. It is a training tool for one-handed weapons with a guard. Right? 
So Scottish back swords, for example. And we actually had our first Scottish military manual is with, with single stick. And the single stick is a good trainer. There's a lot of ways to use them, though. And if you don't both use them the same way, you don't get quite the effect you want. One way, it was a game. The guys who played these were called old gamesters. And it was a game for the, let's use the right term, lower classes of society. <laughs> and what they would do, the lower they'd stand classes of society. The poor. Uh, this close to each other. John and I are not allowed to move. The only shot that counts is if I can get an inch of blood to draw from his head. <laughs> All other shots are fun, but don't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, But we would go back and forth. These guys got so gamey. They would do horrible things like fuck like this. The single stick became a good military training weapon. It was used in the military for years. What's that uh, big event where all the nations come together and they like compete in sports? Oh, That's the one, the Olympics. And in the Olympics, in 1904, they had single stick. They did, but it didn't look it didn't look anything like that anymore. Single stick is such a light weapon, people realized, hey, I don't need the world I need to stick around like a real sword. I don't need to mull an egg. I just need to tap the guy, press the guy. And the fighting changes. And it looks more to be recognized. Yeah, fencing. Foil. More fencing. Foil. Mm -hmm. Where it, it's more fencing, it's, it's, I don't always work tag, but it's up close. Because <laughs> you, you don't need the power, you just need to hit the guy. Yeah. And then you're good to go. What we do is totally different. I have to hit with a little sufficient power. I need to try to use the correct historical techniques. And what we do is, is I have to hit John, it doesn't really matter where. I have to get away clean. Any hit on me, double, bad news. I need to be flawless in my victory. This is very, very hard because when you fight people who don't care, they'll be suicidal. You have to gently change. I cannot fence up a normal human being. I have to be very clever to try to snipe his pain. The single stick was put away in 1904. It was replaced by the foil, the FA, and the saber. And none of them looked anything like the historical weapons. They changed. We're going to do a little bit of these weapons. We're going to end off on right here. Uh, we have ready. I can tell her. Show me if it's going to go. It must be These swords here are the fetters, fetter swords, German for fetter. They're training swords. They're not used on the battle. They were very popular in the 1500s, and then they kind of went away as other weapons came out. Oh, 
that chain. Right there, Connor's got it.